What are the functions of a skeleton? Protection, movement, support, blood production, and shape. What is a joint? This is where two or more bones meet. Movement takes place here. What are ligaments and what are their function? This is tough connective tissue which links bone to bone at a joint. It helps keep the joint stable and prevents dislocation. Joints are classified into three categories. What are they? Immovable, slightly movable, cartilaginous, and freely movable, synovial. What is arthritis? This is a condition which involves damage of the joints. The joints can be very painful, stiff, and lose their flexibility. What is a ball and socket joint? The joint found at the shoulder and the hip. What is a dislocation? This is a joint which has been displaced. It usually happens after impact of the joint and is common at the shoulder in contact sports like rugby. What movement takes place at a ball and socket joint? Extension, flexion, rotation, adduction and abduction can take place at this joint. What is a hinge joint? This is a synovial joint found at the elbow and the knee. What movement takes place at a hinge joint? Extension and flexion can take place at this joint. What are slightly movable joints? These are also known as cartilaginous joints, joints that allow some movement but not a free range of movement. For example, joints between the vertebrae, the small bones, of the spine. What is the function of cartilage? This is found at the end of bones. It helps to prevent friction of bones rubbing against each other. It also produces synovial fluid and absorbs shock between bones in a joint. What are immovable joints? These are fixed joints that do not allow any movement. For example, joints in the bones of the cranium, the skull. What are synovial joints? These are freely movable joints which allow a free range of movement. Examples include hinge and ball and socket joints. What is synovial fluid? This is found in freely movable joints. It comes from the synovial membrane and lubricates or oils the ends of the bones in the joint so that they do not rub against each other and cause friction. What are some causes of osteoporosis? The main causes of this disease are bones get thinner and weaker as we get older after the age of 35. A lack of regular physical activity later in life does not keep the bones strong. And a lack of calcium and vitamin D in the diet. How can we reduce the risk of osteoporosis? Do weight-bearing physical activities regularly that help make bones stronger and increase bone density. For example, running, walking or playing sport. Eat a calcium. What is osteoporosis? This is a disease of the bones which makes them weak and fragile which can lead to a high risk of bone fracture. It's mainly due to a, a reduced amount of calcium and vitamin D in the bones. It is common in older people. What is rotation? This is movement in a circular motion at a joint. This kind of movement takes place at the hips and the shoulders. What is synovial membrane? This is a layer of connected tissue that lines the cavities of joints and makes synovial fluid. 
What are tendons and what are their function? These are strong connective tissue which attach muscle to bone. What is the treatment for osteoporosis? Weight-bearing exercise to strengthen bones is recommended. A well-balanced, calcium-rich diet with lots of fruit and vegetables, vitamin D, is also good to help treat this disease. What is weight-bearing exercise? This type of exercise involves a person taking the full weight of their body, useful after operations on bones and joints in the legs to help build up strength. What is extension? This is when the angle of the joint gets larger. For example, a gymnast straightening her legs during a handstand. What is flexion? This is when the angle of the joint gets smaller. For example, a footballer bending his knee before kicking a ball. What is abduction? This is the movement of a limb away from the midline of the body. For example, the outward movement of the arms when doing a star jump. What is adduction? This is the movement of a limb towards the midline of the body. For example, the inward movement of the arms when doing a star jump. Where does the skeleton make blood cells? It makes red and white blood cells in the bone marrow within the bone. How does the skeleton provide shape to our bodies? It provides the frame around which our muscles are connected. It gives us our human form. It is important for a healthy posture. How does the skeleton act as a support? It acts as a frame and holds the muscles and vital organs that are attached to it. How does the skeleton provide movement? This takes place at joints. Joints form when two or more bones meet. For example, the humerus and the radius and ulna meet at the elbow where flexion and extension occurs. Muscles contract to move the bones. How does the skeleton provide protection and what does it protect? Vital organs are encased around some bones such as the rib cage and the cranium or skull. It protects our hearts, lungs and brain. What are the five types of movement? These are flexion, extension, adduction, abduction and rotation. What is inflammation of the joint? This usually occurs after injury at a joint and can include swelling, pain and redness at the injured joint. What are the articulating bones at the elbow? The humerus and the radius and ulna bones. What are the articulating bones at the knee? The femur and the tibia and fibula bones. What are the articulating bones at the shoulder? The humerus and the scapula. What are the articulating bones at the hip? The femur and the pelvic bone. 